Hello again, Bethany Nicole Taylor here at the Northeast Film Festival Horror Fest. I'm here with George Firewalker Carlson of Collision at Split Rock. How are you, George? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? You look terrific. Oh, thank you. I'm fantastic. I was trying to embrace the horror film genre with the red, like, you know, blood, and, you know, all the... Amazing. So you just screened... Yes, yes. We just finished screening, and it was well-received. Awesome. This is great. So tell us a little bit about the film for someone who might not have seen it yet. Oh, Collision and Split Rock is like a, a film noir, and has a, uh, it's about two brothers who are involved with a beautiful woman, and there's a deep, dark secret with a background, and there's some dysfunction, and then things kind of build up into an exciting climax and mm. somebody's going to get killed and somebody's going to die someone's going to die and someone's going to go through redemption and mm. so we're excited nice that's awesome and what inspired you you wrote and directed correct yes i wrote co-directed mm -hmm. more more of a producer but i did write it yes awesome. what inspired you to write this wow you know we're here at the uh, Northeast Horror Film Festival, and I was here watching my friend's film, mm -hmm. and I said to myself, you know, I was in film for a while, back in the uh, 80s, I think, but uh, I said, you know, I want to get back into filmmaking, and why not make a horror film, you know, and so I, actually the inspiration was the location, mm -hmm. the really deep emotional location and the fact that I want to make a horror story and, and my mind wanders and it just kind of came together. That's awesome. Yeah. It's it's cool that the location is what inspired you. Sometimes you're inspired by life experience, but having a location to, that you want to shoot in is like, let me write something based on this location. Right. Well, the location was really deeply personal because I kind of traveled throughout my life and I end up settling back to my hometown, which is actually the Split Rock's not really Split Rock, but that waterfalls, that that area as I grew up there, and it's so you know it sits in the middle of North New Jersey, which is a real urban area, and in the '60s there was a lot of violence in New, in in North New Jersey. There was a lot of party, you know, drugs, alcohol, it was a very crazy area, and Split Rock is like this beautiful mountain right in the middle, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a battle at Split Rock, because it's very hilly, there's, there's trees dying, there's trees not dying, so it's, it's a survival thing, you know, so like all that just kind of hits that artistic part of me, you know, so. Very cool. <laughs> well, and how long did you shoot this film? Well, the actual shooting, the, the primary shooting only took, we shot about maybe 10, 15 days, but the whole production took a couple of years. Yeah. What was it like on set with, with your team, with such a, with the story? It's so dynamic and, and a lot going on and it's uh, thrilling. What was that like? Oh, it was, it was difficult at times because the location was difficult. We had a lot of equipment we had to bring into the woods. But it was thrilling, ex exhilarating, because the actors were, it was, it was amazing. I had a really good cast. And to watch them get into it, watch them perform, and, and you know, all these, and there was a lot of creativity on set. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of problems, but we worked through the problems, and it was, it was exhilarating. It was great. It was like, wow, we can do this, you know, it's... It sounds like you trusted your team, which is really important. Yes, yes. I encourage, you know, a lot of uh, improvision. I wanted, like, the actors, I wanted them to own the role. And to be honest, I'm not the best writer, and I know this. And so I wanted them to, to, to put their own input into it. Because it's, film is really a creative process. Mm -hmm. If it becomes just a me, 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 there's no fun in that. When, when you can see, when you, got, when you start out with something, and everybody, put their, everybody puts their little effort and their creative ideas between the grips the gaffer to the photographer to the director it, it becomes a piece of art which is why we're doing it so awesome well don't knock your writing i think it's pretty fantastic so don't worry oh no i've, I've improved because i've taken a lot of writing classes and and i'm really now i'm into writing a lot it's better than i was but Awesome. I, well, it's like growing, you know. You grow, yeah. Right. Of course. I like to think I grow as an actor each year, so, you know. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, I know you're terrific. <laughs> well, it's so great to talk with you today, and, and I'm and congratulations on screening. And where where's the film headed next? Uh, 
Well, I have it submitted to film festivals, and um, hopefully, we'll get in a few more. If it doesn't, I, you know, I'm going to try to look into where can I sell it, or can I sell it? Can it go to DVD? What are my options? So I'm exploring all that. But the fact that I made it, and 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 I really like, it, and people really like it, so I'm not. You know, I'm not that concerned about where it goes. It's great as it is, but it'd be nice if it went somewhere else. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your film, and I can't wait to see what's next in your journey. Yeah, so me either. <laughs> Thanks so much, George. Thank you. <laughs>